Hey folks, Dagnivers here. Today we are answering another Kira question left in our comments on our Kira questions playlist. And today's question is from Rick McCaskill. And he says, I was wondering how you set up Kira so that your part is showing in yellow. When I load my parts, it's showing in a weak gray color, making it hard to see. Would you happen to know what I can do to change the color on the part of the screen? Thank you. So let's jump over to Kira here. And of course, we're going to need to get a model and bring that in. So give me just a second here while I open my STLs folder. And we will grab something. Um, I want something a little bit bigger. Let's see. Actually, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so here is just a simple cylinder. Okay. Um, mine is showing in purple. The color designated that your model shows in is determined by this right here. We'll get back to that in a second. So if you're in preview mode and you haven't sliced your object, you get this light gray outline and you can't alter it or change it at all because you don't have the manipulation tools unless you're in prepare mode. So if this is the grayed out you're talking about, definitely just click prepare here and see if that solves your problem. If not, you're going to want to change your filament color. And the way to do that is simply to go to the filament and select it from the list. You can go to manage materials here. And which one do we have selected? Inland, Inland, PETG. So we'll find that on the list here. You can also create and delete them as you want, uh, making new ones. This is going to be the color that is denoted on the model. So if I check, check this here, I can select whatever color I want. Um, you said that you would like to see it yellow like in some of my previous videos. So let's hit OK and then hit Close. And you can now see that the model is shown in yellow. And as I said, you simply click it. Go ahead, go to Manage Materials, and in the Materials tab, you'll be able to change it here. Let's try another color if my computer can keep up. I have several applications open right now, including Fusion 360 and a whole other slicer, so that's the reason it's taking so long. But hopefully that answers your question. I still want to try and get in here, and there we go. Try one more color, and let's see if it'll do it in real time for us. So once I hit OK, it does take a minute, doesn't update the color until you close the window here, and now it is blue. So um, you can choose any color you want, and that is basically the gist of it, guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you'd like to learn more about how to handle these and how to manage the, the filaments and how to put in your own filaments, I'll do another video on that. Um, probably be the next video I make or one of the next couple I have a few planned for today so um, don't forget to leave a like on this video if it was helpful guys I always appreciate it if you subscribe and as always leave your Kira questions in the comments down below because I love making these videos for you and showing you how to do little things that may not be as intuitive as you would think they would so that's going to be it for this one guys Tech Nivers out